Goofy Elf Show Master Lee. And Lulu. All right. No E3 this year, but a lot of amazing games announced, including one that I totally forgot about because at this point, the movie's already long gone. The game still ain't here, even though they announced the game a while ago. Avatar, baby. Is this a first? You've seen this before, a while ago. Ah. <laughs> yes, yes, the one that I thought it was like real. Wow. Well, now we got a trailer and we got gameplay. Damn. Sometimes when you announce stuff way too early, it's literally a bad idea. It gets people anticipated, but then the hype dies down and they have to rebuild it. That costs extra money. So, you know, I do believe the smarter strategy is wait till you're much further along, right? And then when you stack it, it builds the hype. Although I think that they were trying to like ride the hype of the movie. And even then, like who remembers, right? At this point, the movie's not even out anymore. So, but nonetheless, I am curious to see what this game is about. This feels like it's a prime world to explore. Mm -hmm. So let's check this out, yo. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to check out my podcast. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show on my OnlyFans. Mm, I see you. Ooh, I love this world. The Arnie's greed poisoned yeah. our world. Secure the perimeter. They took everything from us. From me. I was trained in their ways, their technology, their weapons. Things that a Nazi should not know. And then one day, they left. Hell's Gate is under attack. Evacuate now. Kill all the Navi children. But before they did, our teacher saved us and put us to sleep. This is your only chance to survive. And there I remained for 15 years. Well, damn, that's a long sleep. Until one day, I awoke. And I was free. who I was going to be. Free to discover what I, I was meant fly. to do. I want to fly so bad. Now you see what they kept you from. You're true. Oh, yes. under attack again don't let the navi get in our way get rid of them and i have a choice to make i choose to protect my home what are the choice you got See the gameplay. Wow, I get emotional. <laughs> oh man, give me some good gameplay here. This is not an MMO. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, a first person action adventure game that invites you to explore first the engaging world of Avatar in an immersive open world experience. Isn't that third person right there? I'm Didi Deanfeld, game director, and I'm excited to reveal what's waiting for you on Pandora. 
The story of our game begins when the RDA expands their operations to the western frontier. John Mercer, one of the leaders of the RDA, abducts you and other Navi children from your home to teach you the ways of humans, hoping to mold you and turn you against your own people. But his plan is interrupted yeah, that never by the works. Battle of the Hallelujah Mountains, and you are put into emergency cryosleep. When you awaken 15 years later, you are a stranger in your birthplace. Knowing the dangers posed by the RDA, you set out to take them down and look to secure the help of other Navi clans. Initially, you're perceived as an outsider, so you have to reconnect with your lost Navi heritage to gain their trust. On your adventure, you'll find your own path as you discover what it idea. means to be Navi. You'll explore new regions of Pandora, each with their own unique wow. lives. The King Law Forest is a lush rainforest brimming with life lush. and dense vegetation in the shade of awe-inspiring floating mountains. This is the home of the Aranahe, a clan of peaceful weavers who will guide you on your first hunt and on your first flight. Yes. The Aranahe will show you the way to the Rookery, where you can bond for life with your very own Ikram. The Ikram is a devoted companion that you can name, feed, and customize. Experiment with acrobatics and feel a rush of adrenaline as you dive that from the sky like so and explore fun. the open world of Pandora from the air. If you travel oh, north, that's so cool. you'll get to the upper plains, an expansive grassland filled with contrasts and open views as far as the eye can see. The nomadic Seswa clan live here in symbiosis with gigantic beasts called Sakru. Earn the clan's trust, and they will teach you the art of riding dire horses. And further west, man, this looks like there's a lot of different biomes. Forest, where hidden in the mist, nothing is as it seems. Here lives the Kamatiri, a clan of healers with their own dark reasons to stay hidden. Dark match. RDA operations are threatening the balance of Pandora. They build facilities of all sizes to exploit resources at any cost, spreading devastating pollution. In the process, animals are hurt and poached. You'll need to stop the RDA from ravaging your home. And when you are ready, you will take the fight to them. As a child of two worlds, you can learn to master multiple combat styles. Your powerful instincts allow you to get an overview of the battlefield, mark your enemies, and identify weak points. Traditional Navi weapons Navi have are that versatile kind of power? and precise. You can use the longbow to hit long-range targets, or the staff sling to set up traps. For a more explosive approach, you can leverage your human training and go for the blast of an assault rifle, a shotgun, or go bigger with the occasional this rocket launcher. On foot, feels like you can also far rely on your incredible door. strength to take down amp units. Above oh, the clouds, I wonder why this isn't third person. Will help you in aerial combat against the RDA. See, like third person there. Destroying it's so RDA cool to see like, have a the knob flipping. Mm. With the pollution removed, Pandora heals. You will be able to harvest the best quality material again, and craft better gear and weapons. You will also find ingredients to cook, and make meals to get stronger. As you keep discovering what it truly means to become Navi, you'll improve your skills by connecting to Ewa through the Tarshu plant and learn from the memories of your ancestors. Skill upgrades can improve many aspects of your character, such as your natural agility to move through the world, your stealth approach when hunting or fighting, or the handling of your weapons and mounts. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora is a captivating action-adventure game designed to maximize the power of new-gen consoles and PC. You will be able to play the full story campaign in single player or with a friend online in two-player co-op. So is this next gen only? We invite you to explore this world of wonder. Become Navi and take down the RDA to protect Pandora.
<sighs> this year, shit, got a lot of good games coming out. Oh my up this god, year. baby. Maybe I want to play this. Is this going to be hard? I wish you know I could what? play this. I hate to tell you, babe. I think it's going to be hard for you because Aww. it's first person. And when it comes like first person shooters, you're just always like spinning around <laughs> and shooting up like that. I, I don't know why. I just like through the whole thing. I'm kept thinking, why can't I see my Navi? I want to see the character. You know, like it's such an agile and cool looking character. Mm -hmm. that you want to be able to see it the way you dress it up. But by making it first person, you don't see yourself. Mm -hmm. So it feels more like... Far Cry, which I'm guessing that's maybe where the game engine is, versus, say, like, Assassin's Creed, where you can see your character. Mm. You know what? I, I'm certain it's fun, and I like first-person shooters, so I'm not knocking it. It just feel like a missed opportunity with this world and Seeing this your character. kind of character. Yeah. I love seeing the Navi. There's just something so majestic yeah. and, and limber about them that I love. Oh, my God. I love to play this game. I know. It's your favorite friend. It's like pretty much your favorite movie, huh? Yeah. Every time you see you want to go, I'm crying. I wish I was Navi. <laughs> I want to be a Navi. Oh, it's so mm. cool. Wow. That was cool. I, yeah. I am I love the idea. I'm going to love playing it. I'm not, like I said, this is the kind of game I love playing, but I mean, I'm playing horizon right now and honestly when i'm thinking about it that's the game engine that should have been built into avatar mm -hmm. because you can fly you can fight beasts you're roaming the land you can see your character and it's acrobatics mm. you know that's maybe the next game i know i think they're committed you know once they commit down this path unless this game fails the sequel will definitely be first person as well very rarely oh. will a franchise change that scenario 